Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. It's been a whirlwind. We've been traveling Spain for almost the past month and a half, but we're back in Hawaii, right here at home base where we need to get the UFO videos out to everybody. We're so excited. Things have been piling up on our table since we've been gone, so let's just get started. It's a plethora of UFO videos tonight. Let's start it out with this one. All right, this is a pretty good one. We're seeing this kind of translucent light kind of spark off in the distance. You see the hillside kind of showing its scale. I believe this thing is pretty far away and it doesn't look commercial. This thing looks kind of out of the ordinary. You're, you're seeing these kind of bulbous lights pop from left to right. What is this? Dr. J, your opinion. Again, like you said, this is a very fantastic sighting. Uh, obviously, it's distant because it's going behind the trees and the forest. I like how it's glowing. And again, that goes to what Bob Lazar said in the past, that when you have something that produces a high amount of electricity in a gaseous atmosphere such as ours with hydrogen and oxygen, it glows. That's why it's glowing in that video. And I also like how it has different colors like the rainbow that appear here and there. Yeah, big time. I'm noticing that. We got also uh, Doc Skinner with us. I, I shared this with him just moments ago. What's your opinion, Doc? Hi, guys. Well, um, actually, you know, first time we saw it, I, mean, I was looking at it on my phone. So it's very, very small. But as you guys were talking, I'm looking at it, I'm zooming in, and I'm doing frame by frame. And I'll tell you, this is very very impressive whatever it is um devil's advocate says at first it could be skydivers but there is one frame here uh five or six here so that's five or six different light sources and as you go frame by frame they they kind of change and then you have the red light on top um God, this is so, this is really beautiful when you when you go frame by frame on this thing. Yeah, you see these kind of like protrusions of light just kind of pop from the left to the right. Kind of seems like it's not even attached to the craft itself. It's, it's yes, it's like, um, like if you saw a disco light show at a bar or a nightclub, you have those lights that can go around um, a ball or, or, or a ring. So they're not stationary. And that's what this looks like. All these lights, that's... Why the first devil's advocate thought was, oh, skydivers. But these lights, they look electronic of some sort and it's really pretty. But the fact that it goes down and lands by the tree, I, I wish there was more, you know, showing if it went back up. Um, but this is a decent sized craft with multiple lights, different colors. You got the red, the greenish yellow, the white, and, um, yeah, there's just a slight tint of green, and then it goes white again, down, and then a big flash of red right before it goes behind the trees. And the red looks like it's top center of whatever this object is, which kind of has a familiarity of, of a disc. Yeah, definitely has that UFO. UFO. Correct. Yeah, it has that classic UFO, Bob Lazar, like Dr. J just mentioned. Hey, we got more UFO videos. We're, we're just getting started tonight. Drop it. Let's see it. So this one's been making the rounds. I saw this a couple days ago. It's fascinating. We were 
seeing this person film from a commercial airliner and we see this kind of cylindrical disc just kind of dart from right to left we get a pause on it and here's a good close-up you can kind of see this again cigar shaped object moving from right to left at about maybe 15,000 feet what's your thoughts guys dr j uh, well actually i'm glad you mentioned that it's a cigar shape because that was my first impression first of all this is going ultra fast and we have an influx of people taking videos outside of commercial flights i hope everyone listening if you're flying you start filming out the window but when you uh, uh, freeze the shot i think it's more of a disc shape maybe a triangular shape than it is cigar shape but fifteen thousand miles per hour maybe more doc skinner um definitely a ufo it as i zoom you know looking at it zoomed in what i'm finding interesting is that it's very dark when most uh you know, disc UFOs are, are bright and shiny or, or metallic looking. It's very dark on the bottom, but it does look like a cigar, um, a big, elongated pill, you might say. And, um, but there's a, I, as I zoom in, there's, there's a little thing on top. I don't know how much you can zoom in, but on the top, it looks like there's a notch in it. The white one, right? Um, the one above the bridge yeah okay uh, is it was there two ufos or is it one that was played twice one okay all right so if you zoom in you'll see it, it does look like a cigar and on the top left side there's a circular notch in it like if you were to have a bubble canopy kind of thing yeah, for sure. It's it's so strange. We don't see any kind of means of what could keep these uh, this object up in the sky. No wings, no no tail. Again, are these uh... all right? This one kind of reminds me of the video that was just dropped by Jeremy Corbell. These jellyfish UFO videos that kind of been making the rounds. This is a new one that captured our eye just recently. I'm glad we're sharing it right now. We're seeing this kind of. Again, white jellyfish floating up in the sky. You could see it it's, uh, with perspective with the trees, which I like a lot. Could this be maybe some sort of experiment? Excuse me. Could this be some sort of kind of experimental balloon that we're seeing? Maybe deflated, kind of just drifting in the wind? Your opinion, Dr. J? I don't think so because you're not seeing the leaves blow very much. And I'm glad you mentioned about the trees being there. Uh, everybody who films UFOs, Take this as a, a, a point to use. Always use a reference point, whether it be the a corner of a building or trees to give us essentially how far this is away. I think this could possibly be biological and not so much a mechanical craft. And this is brand new phenomena, the jellyfish type UFOs. That's exactly what category this fits in. Yeah, curious. It, could this be biological? That's a big question. When I'm seeing it right now, this close-up, it does look like something you would see in the sea, uh, in the deep oceans. It, it definitely resembles something alive, biological. Doc, Doc Skinner, go ahead. What's your thoughts? Um, it is crazy creepy, and it could be like an interdimensional being that, that got lost in our dimension. That, that area of land could be the ocean in another dimension. Who knows? Um, it's, it has been an interesting thing that's been going on a lot lately. Um, I would like to see, you know, how this plays out and if uh, anybody can figure out what these things really are. Do you think there's any correlation between like Corbell's video it kind of seem more mechanical? This seems again, more biological. Are the, the similarities are very uh, close. Uh, Dr. J, do you think uh, these are one and the same or uh, completely different? No, I definitely think they're one and the same. And I'm wondering why all of a sudden they're being filmed in the last few years. You know, for the last almost 90 years, no one's ever talked about this type of craft. But all of a sudden we're seeing it. That's why I'm starting to think, is this possibly biological? That's a big question we're all asking. It's good video. It's close up. Uh, there's there's no CGI. What we're seeing is uh, actually up there in the sky. Could it be a balloon? Could it be something uh, just 
uh, mundane? Uh, that's the questions we're all asking. We just don't know what it is. Again, there's a huge event. I was in Los Angeles a couple days ago, April 1st, and Dr. J showed up, and a lot of things happened that day. They were seen across Southern California. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is live in Puerto Ranch with more. Carlos, good morning. Hey, good morning, and many people confused. A lot of our viewers reaching out to us asking, what in the world is going on? Take a look here. It was a spectacular light show over Southern California uh, early this morning. You can see it there. We got a uh, video from uh, all over Southern California, including uh, this viewer from Lakewood. He was as confused as we were when we saw the video, wondering what is going on here? Where is it coming from? We also got video from Anaheim showing bright streaks of light soaring over the sky. People describing it as some type of debris or meteor falling out of the sky. Here's another view from San Bernardino. Now, the big question is, where did it come from? This morning, no official answer just yet. But of course, there's a lot of speculation. We we'll captured the event. It was early morning. Again, uh, we just saw something like this last month in Hawaii. My brother and I were out on the deck and it seems like this is more frequent. People are asking the big question, what do you think uh, happened over Los Angeles, John? Something mundane or is there more questions to this? You know, this reminds me of the Columbia break-in. Unfortunately, and I guess you could say fortunately at the same time, I was outside when the Columbia started to make its re-entry and break up. But look at the front of this. You see a green light. I don't think this is some sort of space debris or anything breaking up. It actually looks more like a swarm of something coming in. Is it an ET craft or an ARV, alien reproduction vehicle, breaking up upon re-entry? Sure, but the fact that it made it to the mainstream news, KTLA 5, which is one of the biggest in Los Angeles, is a massive story. Uh, again, I do not think this is a terrestrial uh, rocket breakup. Doc? I just want to know why weren't we warned? Why wasn't the people that are supposed to be watching these things letting us know? Thank you. Is, is, this, a, is, is this a prelude to when if or if a big one comes they're just not going to tell us? Very good point. Very, very good point. Beautiful thing to see but scary when you don't realize it till it's already happening. You know, it's kind of crazy. Earlier uh, that day, I was hanging out with John, and he showed up uh, about an hour later. And I caught the the SpaceX. Uh, let's just share it. It's 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 just always cool when you have the opportunity to film uh, the event happen. Uh, I, definitely, it's nothing extraterrestrial. It's just a uh, hey, it's a sight to see. Uh, roll it. Night a SpaceX launch lit up the sky over Southern California. The Falcon 9 created a huge plume of smoke as it lifted off from Vandenberg Space. Okay, we got something going off up here. I got it. It's just about to break up. We see a trail. We got a rocket. Let's see what this thing does. Right here at LAX. Yeah. Perfect timing for a rocket launch. This is great. Let's get a good close up. There's the afterburner separating. We see it, the re-entry rockets. And then we see uh, SpaceX making its way up right through LA. Perfect, this is a good shot. We see the trail. Pretty amazing. Look at a close up. This is about to... I wonder if people are seeing this on the ground. LAX, we've got the sun going out. That's pretty cool there. Still going up. Looks like everything's novel. SpaceX uh, just hopped out of Vandenberg. Yep, so there it is. We're seeing the re-entry uh, rockets coming in. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it was windy. Uh, people were kind of like almost 
there's almost car uh, uh, traffic accidents. I've seen it on the road. People just, they're looking up. They're looking at this event happening. I think most people didn't even know what it was, but we're familiar with this. Another uh, SpaceX launch out of Vandenberg. Dr. J captured this uh, last week. It's, uh, what's your thoughts when you see these? You know, like you said, this is very similar to what I captured on my channel, Dr. J Radio Live. I captured from almost the beginning of the launch to the point it disappeared. And even though I assumed it was SpaceX from the get-go, I noticed that there were things behind the rocket. Is it boosters? Is it something else that the rocket is expelling on the way? Those are uh, re-entry re rocket boosters that attach. Uh, they come back this down. This looks identical to what i filmed and like you said it did cause traffic accidents when people were looking up and unaware that this was coming in hey guys uh, we got new videos coming in this one uh actually was the last one i got today and i'm pretty impressed i think this might be my best uh, video today there it is you got it what the f is that <gasps> what the f is that oh my goodness are you watching this <gasps> that ain't i'm shocked i'm shocked that is not a oh that thing is moving i'm shocked that is not a f no that that's not right that's not a drone no. mosquitoes that is not a f drone no or a boat <gasps> dude that's shocking which is i Wow, this video is pretty nuts. Uh, this is one of the best ones I've seen this year because this guy's got a really good perspective of what we're looking at. We're seeing this kind of a bright golden orb kind of a traverse through and behind the trees. And it kind of separates and creates a duality of a of a of this kind of a orb, a bright, luminescent one. Again, these guys are baffled. They have no clue what they're looking at. It's wild. Uh, what is this? Dr. J, your opinion on this video, it's out of sight. This is definitely my favorite of everything we've seen tonight. The second would be that black one out of the window, which looked like a cigar shaped craft, but could technically be, uh, you know, a triangle or a disc, but mo looks more like a cigar. But I like the fact that this is going extremely slow, glowing very much, very close to the ground, splits into what seems two orbs, one bigger, one smaller, and it possibly could be landing. It is so close to the road. I love this so much. Yeah, Doc, uh, what's your thoughts when you first saw this? Oh, I have to say the same thing. Uh, wait, is that uh, it, it makes me think of Gulf Breeze, Florida uh, in 86 with the big craft that looked like a metal hot air balloon that was seen on the road going down the road i want to know was there anybody on this road that may have caught it on a dash cam um or or on their phone i would love to see that angle hell yeah who wouldn't if you're driving by there and if you're right upon this thing and you have no clue what it was it's something uh, it's a phenomenon and that's maybe what we're looking at here i really like this stuff hey uh we got more footage coming in guys uh we're gonna get a comment on this check this out all right one more Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. We're looking at these things. We don't know what it is. These uh, unusual shaped UFOs, spiked UFOs, they come in all sizes. And it's wild. You know what's wild is that we've been working 
third phase of moon for 15 years came up with a concept an idea a comic book and it's been kind of blowing up amazon we're seeing a lot of people purchase this it's just a uh, really fun to see people enjoy this check out the trailer guys here in washington it's 3 p.m we're following a developing story could the military patrol the Well, you don't just have two, three, ten trillion dollars vanish. We've given so far 171 million dollars. Most of the work being done on this are private corporations. We call this a hybrid entity that's neither strictly government nor strictly private. If these are extraterrestrials are real and they're getting here from another star system, they're not using 20th century or early 21st century technology. People at the CIA call it WSFM. Weird science and frickin' magic. Yeah, hey Guys, you've had a chance to read this. Dr. J, Doc Skinner. Let me just ask uh, John, your opinion on this, uh, when he first read this. Oh my God. It is so on point of what's happening in real life. And for anyone who hasn't had a chance to read it yet, you're gonna be surprised when you notice that there are people in there or drawings that Brent made that are identical to people in real life. And I sh I'm sure everybody out there listening and watching Third Phase of the Moon is going to be able to pinpoint who they are. I'm not going to give any spoilers of who they are, but the story's incredible, and so is the artwork. And this is just issue number one. Issue number two is in the works, almost ready. Actually, issue number two is available right now, uh, Air Force One down. I'm working on issue number three as we speak, but yeah. right now we got uh, one and two ready for purchase. It's kind of a, a combo. I'm seeing on uh, sales and purchase is at Amazon that it's blowing up and they're picking up uh, one and two at the same time because they can't wait to finish it. Dr. Greer's a big fan. Shrat, everybody's loving what we're doing over here. What I like about it too is people are sending us pictures of them holding the comic book in their hand and anybody that does that, we'll share it right here at Third Phase of Moon. So I've seen a lot of people buy it but I haven't got enough pictures of everybody holding it. So just keep sending that our way. We really have a good time with that. Hey, uh, Doc, your opinion on that comic oh i have to say i was very fortunate to be one of the first few to see it as it was in its progression um the story is riveting and i mean i love that and i love uh the the characters that are in it and how it is so on point with everything going on i was very lucky to be one of the first few to see it in its uh, progression and it is an amazing riveting story that pinpoints and hits the nail on the head on things that are going on right now in our world the characters you will recognize and relate to um everything is so so well accurate as well as the artwork which i cannot stress enough the artwork that brent has done is mind-blowing this isn't ai this i mean he does this by hand and it is the most detailed beautiful comic artwork i've seen in a very very long time i advise you all to check it out on amazon and don't just get one get two and then get ready for part three wow cool guys let me get this real quick too by the way i was privileged to see every progression of this and issue number one lays out the groundwork once you hit issue number two the story really starts to play you can't just buy one issue i recommend everybody out there buy all of them because you're really going to get a feeling for the story and just like doc said you're it's gonna it's it's almost as if this is this, this comic is based in reality appreciate the kind words guys yeah definitely this is the first trilogy one two and three i'm working on three as we speak right now and then after that uh i got more uh uh, volumes in mind so that's gonna be exciting hey guys I really appreciate you guys joining us everybody in the chat room we're seeing a lot of engagement tonight a lot of people seeing our friends just appreciate everybody joining us hey doc dr. J you guys rock um, again 
if you haven't uh subscribed to third phase moon times to do it right now take care everybody thanks again dr j and doc skinner